viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video you know it's a boy sae big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in to this one so coming up in today's video guys the west indies kick off day three of the second test and um it was really a fantastic day for west indies as i basically get what i wanted in a sense where i wanted them to get to 450 to 500 and um they did get to 457 guys and i'm really pleased with them the performance you understand it really helped the west indies um set up platform and now uh coming tomorrow um which is day four the west indies will be looking to go into but you know hope they can bowl out england pretty early tomorrow you know people and really see if they can um win this match because uh it was really good batting performance. But before we get into all of the details, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell to be the first alerted whenever a new video is uploaded. And don't forget, we are on our way to 20,000 subscribers. So people, uh, early on this morning, uh, the West Indies resume at what? 351 um, for 5, right people? Well, they eventually got up to 450. T7 all out within 111.5 overs, you know. Uh, right about now, guys, that's stump at day three, right? Uh, England and uh, lead West Indies by 207 runs with seven wickets in hand. And, um, you know, it's going to be challenging for them tomorrow morning. But nevertheless, people, I was really, I was really pleased with what I witnessed um, from the West Indies um, batters, you know, because in the first test, um, we never really... Um, come to the party in a sense where uh we could say we have something to fight with you know the batteries never really come to the party but some people might say you know we were new to the condition and rate rate but that's in the past now people now we are focused on winning the second test because the west indies batteries dominate england yesterday in the first uh second day of the second test you know and it's been a while since we can say the west indies dominate at test sessions you know, people not talk about one session, we're talking about the entire day. You understand? And it's a good sign from West Indies young batters coming through, you know, especially um, Kevin Hodge, um, Alec Athanas yesterday. Today we saw Wiki Keeper Batman, um, Joshua the Silver people chipped in with 82. You know, people, and this is what we're talking about. These guys going out there and show that, hey, we have talent. We have what it takes to win match. We have what it takes to fight. We have everything that is needed to be a great player. You know, we just need opportunity. And, you know, sometimes we as a cricketer, we are not in good touch. You know, but sometimes the pressure really get to us. And, you know, we are under pressure. But at the end of the day, we try our best to go out there and perform. And today, guys, I'm really appreciative of what I witnessed today. You know, this morning I wake up. I woke up and I saw Joshua Silva fighting it out there, people, you know, and I was really pleased with him, you know, and then he got good support from Shamar Joseph, you know. Uh, Shamar was in the net a couple of days ago, training, and people were saying that he can hold his own, man, you know, with the bat. This morning he got a 30, and that's his maiden 30 in test cricket. But, you know, let's get to the... Yesterday, um, 23 and 35, respectively, that's what Jason Ola and Silva was on, right? Um, well, Jason Ola fell first, people, for 27 this morning. Um, Joshua Da Silva continued not out. Um, he had 10 fours and 3 sixes, right, people? Then Kevin Sinclair came 4 of 14. Alzari Joseph, 10 of 29. Jaden Seal, 0 of 1. Shamar Joseph, batting at number 11, uh, got 33 of 27. He had 5 fours and 2 sixes, people. Congratulations to Shamar Joseph. He has the ability or he has the potential to be a all rounder in the future for West Indies. You know, people. So, uh, Chris Oaks, uh, pick up the wicket takers for England um, with four for 84 people, two wicket for Gus Atkins, and two for Bashir, um, one for Ben Stoke, and one for Marco, respectively. Now, we're going to move over to the West Indies. Um, Sorry, the England batting second at at Stomp and Day three today, right? Um, England, um, at two hundred and forty eight for three. You understand after fifty one overs, and um, really eager to see what the West Indies bowlers come out with tomorrow morning because they have to get rid of these two batters at the crease. So, uh, Zach Crowley opened the batting with Ben Duckett as usual for England. The two opening pair, Crowley fell early and one. 
run out by Jaden Seals. Ben Duckett carry on with the half century of 76 at 92 deliveries, people. You know, before he was led before by Alzari Joseph. Oli Pope um, continues good vein of farm as well with a 51 of 67 deliveries. You know, uh, Joe Root, 37 of 69. Of 67, not out, and Harry Brook is currently 71 of 78, and you know, eight, eight fours in that effort. So, uh, overall, people doing England batting is really powerful. You know, it's not a really a, a team where we can say their batting is weak. You know, the West Indies lose one, two, three, four, five, six bowlers so far. Uh, this morning, you know, we haven't seen Kevin or just yet. I um, mean, but you know, we're we are at stump right about now, people. And um, two wicket for Alzari Joseph, he was the wicket taker and the day two for 58. You know, um, the rest of the bowlers, you know, did their little thing. Um, but overall, it was a good um display from the West Indies. Um, batting overall, I like what I'm witnessing from them. Just hope, you know, people that they can really. Continue their good form with the bat and don't um be distracted because we know that um it's a test match yes and some of the time they're distracted and lose focus um maybe because they're young and inexperienced at something but at the end of the day people overall the Caribbean fans is behind the West Indies team and um we want them to to do well in England and I'm really happy that um we are witnessing this today uh witnessing the west indies fighting versus england because as we all we know overall england is our nemesis in a sense we are you know people both team have a history you know if england comes to the caribbean it's hard for england to win a match in the caribbean if west indies go to england it's hard for west indies to win matches in their condition so you understand what you're talking about we are both each other nemesis in a sense. You know, we play a lot together so we understand each other, you know. And I must give credit, guys, to these three batters. Matter of fact, four batters in the West Indies team. This is for the second test. We are talking four or five batters. Um, no other like Craig Bathwaite, he holds his own with 48. Then we start Alec Athanas chipped in with um, 82 as well. Then we start Kevin Hodge chipped in with made 100, 122. Then now we are seeing Da Silva chipped in with 82, not out of 122 delivery. And if we could throw in Shamar Joseph, is really impressive with the bat today. And I must say, all right, he really give good support to Joshua Da Silva. And I'm like, what I'm seeing, guys, you know, just want him to build on this confident going forward and really see if they can, you know, um, pull off the miracle or pull off the win, you know, because they have what it takes in them. It's not like they don't have it. It's just for them to believe in themselves and go out tomorrow, take a rest now and go tomorrow and see if they can get the job done. But you know what, people? Um, pick up on yourself. Thank you all for tuning in. Like more, understand? Sub hit that subscribe button, guys. Can you understand that? It's really important when you subscribe and like up the video and get YouTube recommend, recommend the channel more often and get more people on the channel. Pick up on yourself. Understand? Like more.